guys today I'm doing a video where I've just gathered um, some dolls from my basic um, doll shelf and they've just been sitting there but I thought I'd show you some of these um, really interesting dolls because when you're out there and you're doing the same thing and you're going to vintage stores secondhand stores antique stores you never know what you're gonna find well let me show you some of the dolls that I did find um, this one here is a Monster High doll and she is beautiful. Um, I love her decor, her outfit, and her makeup. And um, let me give you a good look at the makeup. But she's kind of hard to find now because she is a vintage doll. She still has her bracelets and she still has um, the other bracelet. and. In terms of earrings, I can I can check that out. Um, yeah, it looks like her earrings are intact. She's got them on both sides, but um, these dolls are very popular still, and people are out there looking for these dolls. So if you come across it, pick it up because it's worth it's worth it. It has um, just look at look look at the chiffon. Um, her dress, I mean, the chiffon, the way the dress is designed. Okay, another doll that you may come across is another Monster High dolls. There are a lot of Monster High dolls. Um, a lot of collectors want the Monster High dolls. I used to have a collection, but I gave the entire collection away. Um, I just wanted to downsize. And, um, and here is a beautiful one that... Um, I forgot to include and so I ended up still still um, still having this doll. Now this here is a very very interesting doll. This one here um, I believe she's hard to find. I mean in terms of the outfit. The outfit is a very unusual outfit. It is um, very detailed and very vintage and I love the Hawaiian skirt and she still has, um, I believe that these are her original shoes. Now, I don't know where the other one went. I have to go look for it later. But I found this at a flea market. So if you are still out there looking for dolls, you can enter into a flea market and um, find these interesting dolls. This doll, um, I tried to track her and try to figure out... I tried to do some research, I mean, and figure out what kind of a doll she is. And um, this one was found at a flea market. She is a 1979 star, uh, not 1280, uh, lots of articulations. So meaning that um, articulations, like she can bend her elbows, um, she has flexibility in the wrist, and as you can see, She's probably very bendable, and oh, she's got the twist and turn waist, as you can see, and um, fully articulated on the knees, so she is a wonderful find. Um, I couldn't pass her up because I've, ne I've never seen a doll like this. I've never seen bar a Barbie, fa it's a vintage doll from the 1970s, but I've never, she's, 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 she's quite hard to find. I have another doll that I found while vintaging out there, and this was found at the Value Village marketplaces. She's one of my favorites. She's iconic. Uh, her iconic picture remains on my icon, and um, here is her beautiful dress. And you can see she's the uh, 1996 C Princess. And her gown is a number 155531 limited edition. And uh, she's gorgeous. So I hope you guys love these dolls as much as I do. I think I love the, um, I love the layers of the gowns. And you can see the material that was used was quite well quality It, it back in those days. Um, I'm just going to see if um, she has her shoes, but no, she doesn't, she doesn't have her shoes. I'm also going to show in this video um, two of the rarest Barbies I have. 
And um, there are the numbers, uh, it's a number three doll and a number four doll. But I love the ensemble and I love her hair. So when you're out there shopping and you're going and you're browsing like I do and we're always on the lookout for these vintage dolls, you can always get lucky finding them. Here we have Ken. This is an older Ken doll. Um, he's wearing a, I believe, a beautiful outfit. He's still got the, um, he's still got, I'm trying to get this focus. He's still got the pin, which um, is hard to find. And um, the coat itself is in great shape. And you can see how straightforward he is. He's got um, the flat foot and there seems to be a neck, something loose in his neck. But these are considered your very early 1960 Ken dolls that were first released in the 1960s. And they are so fun to collect if you can get your hands on one and you want to make sure that not a lot of paint is um, missing from the doll try to get it in a good condition and he's fairly good condition his eyes and face makeup is still intact and it's an original condition so I think that's a good sign some of the other dolls that you might come across are another 1960. This is Fashion Queen. I love her eyeshadows and I love her hair. Now she's got a bit of green ear. She's got green ears, but that can all, always be removed. Um, her outfit is just adorable. It's a black, black, white, white. Uh, blue knit with some knitted um, matching pants um, some beautiful high shoes now I do have a lot of accessories which are really hard to find accessories uh, this little hat has a zipper a YKK zipper at the back and that allows you to zip up you can see the quality of the YKK zipper and that can zip right up and it can zip right down and she's in great 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 condition um, look at the facial screening and the paint beautiful workmanship besides the green airs that can be removed and fixed and uh, her little uh, blue headband is missing but overall a great find so I was at the flea market and I discovered this doll. This is a vintage Ken doll. I love the outfit. Super retro, super vintage. Um, the thing about it is, look closely. You see her, his face, how, how it has sort of... I'm trying to get a good look at the face. The face is cracked. And I did the best job I could in repairing the face. I used glue to to try and remove and clean up the paint. Well, the glue. This glue is soluble, water soluble. So it's not going to stain or hurt the face. But at least the face is fixed. Um, here's, a good, here's a good look at how, how nicely... It fixed it. You can hardly see the cracks in the face. But an overall great job. And let me just go past. The last two dolls I want to show you are Miko dolls. Miko doll, Miko doll was another doll company which produced this beautiful Cher doll. What I love about the Cher doll is her face. I wonder if you can see her face and the highlights of her beautiful eyelashes and how beauty, beautiful they, they are set. She he, Her gorgeous gown, which is a really winner if you have the gown intact. I do have her shoes and everything intact. Um, I was able to find the shoes, but 
This doll is a very, 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 very beautiful doll. It's a winner for those who love to collect dolls. And you want to collect a variety of dolls because it makes your doll collection very interesting. Um, the tag um, says it's a 1976 Miko Sheer doll in her original outfit. So there you go. So that's another doll that was discovered in... I believe I found her at the flea market. And I also found Cher, which is also made by the company. Not Cher, this is Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett, I love her hair. You know, the hair is so thick. It's so thick and so stylish and so curly. So the synthetic um, material that was used on the hair is high quality. Um... Not like the dolls you would find nowadays. She was in great shape. I want to show you her face. How beautiful that is. And how I think she does look like Cher. And the best part is her ensemble. She's wearing her original ensembles and look. She even has her original shoes. Which also fix, f fits Cher. And I love this doll. I think she has a hair tie too, as you can see. I'm going to show you the hair tie. The hair tie is uh, fixable. Um, this can come off, and you can style her hair any way, any shape that you like. Um, her skin tone is quite dark. Uh, compared to Cher, Cher's skin tone is quite dark as well. Uh, I guess the different molds had the different coloring in the molds. and. So when you compare the coloring, uh, it's quite similar. It's like they're, they, they've been tanned. But the, the doll molds are very unique. And um, so these are the Miko dolls. And of those of you, if you're trying to collect Miko dolls in your collection, here's two fantastic great dolls you may want to think of adding into your collection. And I love the way that they applied the eyelashes onto the dolls. Can you see the eyelashes on the doll's face? Um, here we can see it here and we can see it here. They're lovely. There is um, her little scarf. Her little uh, scarf accessory has come off. You can always add that onto the doll. But these are beautiful dolls. So overall, these are some of the dolls that um, you can find out there when you're out in the field of searching um, vintage and secondhand stores. Value Village stores are great to find these kind of dolls. I had a great time finding these dolls. I have two exceptional dolls I do want to show you. Two rare dolls. And I want to show you viewers. But I hope you enjoyed this little video, tutorial, video, uh, educational video. Um, and I'm just showing you some of the dolls that I've collected over the years. I love this one. She ended up being my favorite because of the outfit. It is so rare. I have not come across this outfit very often. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy the dolls that I've just introduced to you. And there again, there's Fashion Queen in the back. And uh, these are wonderful, wonderful collection. So I hope you enjoy it. And let me know which is your favorite dolls and what you collect. Okay, bye for now from Barbie Rocks. With more dolls to come.